I want to bring in um, Monsignor Kevin Sullivan. He is the Executive Director of Catholic Charities for the Archdiocese of New York. Good morning, Monsignor. Thank you for being with us. Good morning, Adrian. Thank you for having me. You know, I lived in New York City prior to moving to Chicago for five years. Uh, there were uh, a you number are of... welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I love that I have your blessing. Uh, but we've seen this surge of people who are there uh, because of the uh, recent bus trips uh, sent from uh, Governor Greg Abbott to New York. I have to ask you, what has been the reception? What, what has Catholic Charities done for those folks who've gotten off the buses recently? We've seen more than 1,500 individuals in the past six weeks or, or so. What we do is we greet them with respect, assure them that they are safe, secure, because they've fled horrendous conditions in their own country, mostly Venezuela, and they've traveled thousands of thousands of wild miles through dangerous territory. When they come to us, we, we provide them with just a little bit of food immediately. We provide them with some clothes if they need it. We do review their legal documents to make sure that they do comply with those, uh, those requirements. Um, so we're responding in the way we can. Yes, we're strained. Our, our workers are so dedicated, and it is a very, very challenging um, situation that we are facing. I have a question about in terms of how often New York sees these kinds of buses prior to Texas's governor sending these buses to New York. Were, were Catholic charities sponsoring some of the people in Texas to go to different states, to go to different cities, including New York? Are you aware of that? Well, listen, for a century, but let's just say, you know, in the past 10 or 20 years, we have seen a steady stream of people coming to New York from Central America and South America seeking kind of safety and security here, whether it be children, whether it be families, whether it be single adults. Most recently, the difference is that we are seeing so many people come from Venezuela because of the incredible crisis there of more than six million uh, refugees from Venezuela. So in the spring, we saw a few more people each day, but towards the end of June and July, that's when we saw a tremendous upsurge, sometimes 25, 50, 100 people each day showing up at our offices asking for help. And I know that I've, I've spoken to uh, Catholic Charities in Texas right at the border. They give them food, they give them clothing, they let the kids have toys. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that the Catholic Charities have provided so many resources for so long, as you mentioned. How much pressure is it putting on the organization financially? It's putting a tremendous amount of, of financial pressure, but I also want to stress our workers are just incredibly dedicated. They're on the front lines. They're listening to these heart-wrenching stories of the persecution, the violence, the struggles that these individuals have faced. So in addition to the financial strain, it's, it's really straining our workers because they want to treat these individuals and are doing it with dignity, respect, and compassion and i would say that is as important as the concrete needs which are also being provided to those who are coming to new york yeah there are two sides to the story one is the fact that you all are doing so much uh, to be compassionate and the other side is the uh, political side where people are saying that this is something that's unique but you all have been seeing a, a surge, a rise in the number of immigrants coming from these South and Central American countries for quite some time now. Um, thank you very much, Monsignor uh, Kevin Sullivan, for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And remember, you're always welcome back to New York. All right. Thank you again. <laughs> thank you very okay. much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.